Hola, bienvenidos camaradas a un nuevo vídeo de Mass Effect eh, Después de haber encontrado a Arcángel o, a, o como, como le llamaban a Garrus en Omega Vamos a empezar hablando con Jacob y, y siempre igual, ¿vale? Siempre que consigamos un nuevo compañero a hablar con la gente porque se desbloquearán cosas nuevas A lo mejor hay nuevas misiones secundarias y tal y es mejor hacerlas antes de... En este juego, en el 3 menos, pero en este juego siempre es importante hacer las misiones secundarias según salgan, ¿eh? O sea, menos las de los DLCs, claro, porque son DLCs y para eso son, ¿sabéis? Pero bueno. I've got an appointment with Shaira in three months. I can't wait. We're flying into the eye of the storm, and you're thinking about some Asari prostitute? Hey, watch it. It's not like that at all. She's so... she's... You won't understand unless you meet her. Hey, Commander, we got Garrus back. That's great, because he was totally my favorite. With that pole up his ass. I assume everything's going well up here? Shh, 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 Joker. I can tell when it's listening. I am always listening, Mr. Moreau. I know. That's it for now. See you, Commander. How is our newest Turian crew member doing? His injuries looked painful. He's been through a lot, not just physically. There's something about him. I just want to hold him close and whisper, it will be all right. Are you attracted to other species? Well, part of my job is predicting the motives and feelings of humans and aliens. Intimacy brings understanding. And passion is nice wherever you find it. Character matters, not race or gender. Anything else, Commander? Is there anything I should know? You have unread messages at your private terminal. Anything else, Commander? That'll be all. I'll be here if you need... Commander, you've received a new message at your private terminal. John Wilson. Eh, hey, Aria me ha dado esta dirección. Creo que me encontraste conmigo en Afterlife y en Omega. Evitaste que me viniese a aquellos mercenarios. Vale. Vale, pues es el tipo al que paramos los pies. Antes de que se hiciera daño, por decirlo así. Lo marcamos como leído y nos vamos. Primero a dar de comer a los peces porque eh, no, no perdonan una, por lo visto. Me está informando y tienes que darles cada vez que haces una misión principal como mínimo. El equipo no va a habrá nada nuevo. Habrá que mirar en las tiendas, supongo, pero bueno. Como las tiendas ahora no son aleatorias, siempre hay lo mismo, pues no me preocupo demasiado por eso. about you. Edie has a wicked sense of humor. Or I should say, a really funny lack of one. Sometimes she seems like a person. But when it comes down to it, I can't get past her being a computer. This one security guy keeps staring at me. I think his name is Bert. I'm used to being watched by security, but they're usually staring at my eyes or watching my hands. I might have to start cloaking through the CIC from now on. I usually travel hidden away in cargo bays. It's nice to be able to look out a window for a change. Come back later. I'm sure I'll have more to talk about. What's wrong? They lost contact with New Canton. Might be the collectors. Did your family get out of there? I don't know. There's no communications yet. I'm sure they're safe. Y you'll see.
I haven't had a meal that good in a long time. I didn't think Rupert had it in him. Commander, I very much enjoyed sharing that ice brandy with you. But I hope I wasn't too unprofessional. Brandy goes straight to my head. It's nice to see you let your hair down. Guess I hadn't realized how much those feelings needed airing. But I didn't give you much of a chance to vent. So tell me now. What do you think? Everyone's depending on us. We won't let them down. They just don't make them like you anymore, Shepard. Well, promise me we'll share a bottle every year. The next one is on me. How may I help you, Commander? I'll see you later, Doctor. Commander. Shepard, need me for something? What can you tell me about the Normandy's armaments? Looks like Cerberus upgraded what the ship carried before. Should have a bit more kick. I still don't like our chances against a collector ship, though. Not unless we upgrade the guns. Have the Cerberus crewmen given you any trouble? I think being part of the team that took down Saren got me some points. Everyone I talked to was polite, anyway. Don't worry, Commander. We're all working together. Have you got a minute? Sure. Just checking the weapon systems. You can never be too careful. I thought I'd seen every weapon in the galaxy in our fight against Saren. Mercenary work showed me otherwise. And now Cerberus rebuilds the Normandy with a few upgrades to boot. I wish we'd joined up with them sooner. We haven't joined Cerberus. They're funding our mission. That's all. Relax, Shepard. Just a figure of speech. I can't exactly doubt your judgment. Not after I got my own squad killed. What did your Merc squad do? Didn't sound like you were available for hire. You saw Omega. It was full of thugs kicking the helpless. I formed my team to kick back. We weren't mercenaries. At least nobody was paying us. We made money by taking down slavers, pirates, or gangs that went too far. It sounds like you were just another gang. Then I'm saying it wrong. We didn't shake anyone down. No civilian casualties. That was our rule. Every member of my team had lost someone to Omega's gangs. We weren't out to get rich. We were out to make those bastards think twice before murdering someone in the street. Doesn't sound like you made any friends with the gangs. I got three separate merc bands to work together to take me down. My manager at CSEC would be impressed. It was simple. We'd hit their shipments, disrupt activities, get under their skin, make them angry. They'd come charging right into our well-prepared kill zone, crossfire and snipers, clean and surgical. They never stood a chance. How'd you end up fighting mercenaries here on Omega? I went back to CSEC after the Normandy was destroyed, but... with all the rebuilding at the Citadel, there was too much chaos for me to really help. Omega was filled with criminals nobody else could touch. And there was no red tape to slow me down. And it was a perfect fit. People here needed someone to believe in. Someone to stand up to the local thugs. That explains how you started. How'd you end up with a squad? Not too different from how you formed your squad to fight Saren, actually. You prove that you get things done, and people join up. Mercs who wanted to atone. Security consultants tired of playing by the rules, I gave them hope. And now they're dead. Shows what I know. Tell me about your squad. There were twelve of us, including me. Former military operatives, CSEC agents, the usual. Had a Salarian explosives expert. Pretty sure he'd spent time in the special tasks group. My tech expert was a Batarian, believe it or not. Not the friendliest guy, but he could hack any system ever built. How did those mercenary gangs take down your team? It was my own damn fault. One of my people betrayed me. A Turian named Sidomis. He drew me away just before the mercs attacked my squad. Then he disappeared. Everyone except me is dead because of him, and because I didn't see it coming. I'm not sure I understand. What happened exactly? Sedonis asked for my help on a job. When I got to the meeting point, nobody was there. By the time I got back to our hideout, the mercs had killed all but two of my squad. And they didn't last long. 
You sure it was a betrayal? Maybe they took Sedonis out first. No. I put out feelers with some old contacts. He booked transport off Omega just before the attack. He also cleared out his private accounts before he left. He sold me out and ran. Do you know where Sedonis is now? No. His trail vanishes after he leaves Omega, but I'll keep hunting. I lost my whole team except for Sedonis. One day I'll find him and correct that. Thanks for coming by, Shepard. I've got some things to take care of. Como vemos en la vida la ha tratado un poco mal en estos dos años a Garrus, eh, sin mucho más que añadir como esto, él tenía un equipo parecido al nuestro y tal y lo perdió porque un otro lo traicionó. Es eh, bueno, lo normal entre comillas si te harías con, con gente que dice ser o dice querer algo, ¿sabes? Claro. Shepard. Just checking in, making sure you're acclimatizing. <laughs> I was just just sitting here thinking. The picture. I'm finally starting to get it. There's a tank imprint. The battle at Canrum. A dead Turian, stripped. You don't see them out of their armor much. A Krogan boot on his head. And a claw hammer. It's under the brow plate, pulling it back, right? Eyes have gone black, and you see tension in the muscle. You can feel it ready to snap. I get it. Canrum isn't ringing a bell. Death of Shiagar. Female warlord. Turians killed her, so they were hunted down and made examples. Even if they won the war, it was the last push before the rebellions ended. Maybe I had to be there, but I don't get the joke. There's no joke. It's just great. It's a Turian, and he's being torn apart for what they did. I felt nothing before, but now I get it. It was a good fight. The enemy was destroyed to punish them all and send a message. I get it. I hate Turians. I thought you'd be glad. I don't know if I'll be coming down here for these talks anymore. Whatever. Don't have to be friends to fight good enemies. Just thought you'd like to know I'm finding reasons for my own battles. This mission takes me back. So you knew Archangel from before. Interesting. Knew a lot of men taking jobs to kill the son of a bitch. I never saw the point. He and I wanted the same thing. A whole lot of mercs dead. Hell of a sniper, though. And he kept himself alive with all the mercs in Omega after him. That ain't easy. Get a knife stuck in the right way. And you can pull that plate right off a Krogan's head. It's the best way to get a Krogan to talk. The threat of it drives them mad. I should let you go. Talk more later, Shepard. Hey. Tell me about you, Jack. What are you up to? Still checking out your ship. Wouldn't mind putting her through her paces when you're not around. I doubt Joker would appreciate that. At least not while we're working. Relax. Joyriding doesn't have the thrill it used to. Besides, if I wanted it, I'd take it. That's so. Uh... I've been around. Ran with gangs, wiped out some gangs, joined a cult. Kept the haircut. I learned how to survive and not be a victim. It's hard to imagine you in a cult. That usually involves a lot of rules. I was looking for answers. Drugs and sex and going to a better place. A better place, right. It was all about money. 
They wanted to take a colony, shake the suckers down to fund their spread, and guess who was their ace in the hole? They were just like the rest. Didn't give one shit about me. What'd you do when you found out? What do you think? You must have met some good people, too. Everybody wants something, and because of that, everything is fair game. Murder, assault, kidnapping, drugs, stealing, arson. Done it all, and that's the boring shit. Piracy, theft of military craft, destruction of a space station, and vandalism. That was a good one. I'm surprised you'd even mention vandalism in that bunch. That's what the Hanar call it when you crash that space station I mentioned into one of their moons and make a new crater. They really liked that moon. You were a pirate, too? Ties in with the kidnapping. If you hijack a passenger ship and don't kill everyone, anyway. Good lesson. Simpler to just kill them all. A space station? You're pushing what I can believe. Ain't saying it was easy. Not everything is spur of the moment. Sometimes you gotta work to give people what they deserve. Had some people I hung with for a while. Outlaw colony. Felt like they were like me. Guess that made us a nice target. Turians think they know something about a scorched earth response. Fuck them. Military's a hard target. Bet that made you some friends. Shouldn't have left the thing unlocked. Besides, parades are boring. I helped. Do you ever wonder if you could have done things differently? No. Shouldn't you? There's no reason I should be alive, but I am. You know why? Instinct. It's worked for me so far, and I'm not gonna change. Hey, Shepard. No one's ever asked me about this shit. It's strange to talk about. So fuck you. And thanks for asking. Voy a quitarle el traje que lleva Jack ahora, le pondré pues y le pondré el vanilla, el que tiene por defecto, porque me da cuenta de que no se le ven los ojos cuando y tal, y no sé. Hates everyone in Cerberus. Damn it, girl. Stop toying with me. <risa> bueno, eh, lo que decía, que para que se le vean los ojos y toda la cara, pues lo voy a hacer así. Voy a hablar con Miranda, que se me ha olvidado, y ya volvemos a Omega. Ya 20 minutos, ¿eh? Y simplemente hablando con la tripulación. Pues imaginad cuando seamos todos. Te pasas un capítulo entero cada vez que haces una misión hablando con ellos. No, a ver, las conversaciones son limitadas, eh, o sea, no... Commander, what can I do for you? Do you have a minute, Miranda? There's a lot to do, Shepard. Maybe another time. I'll let you work. ¿Veis? Of como es. ¿Veis? Esta, por ejemplo, todavía no tiene nada más que decir, ¿no? Pues nada, ya hemos hecho todo lo de hablar... Ay, me da lipo ahora, ya veréis. Qué divertido. Eh, ya tal. Pues no tenemos nada más que hacer. Vámonos a Omega otra vez. No, no, espérate. Diario. Ome Omega. Darle el pack a. Vale. Eh, si os acordáis, vimos hace dos episodios o así un pack que decía. Para más. Para matar a Aria, básicamente, y tal, pues nada, se lo vamos a dar a ver qué dice. No me acuerdo, creo que no dice nada, pero bueno. Por hacerlo, ¿sabéis? Para no dejarlo suelto. nos quedan todavía 5 de Morbin y otros 4 bueno como dije que íbamos a cambiar de pelotón lo vamos a hacer completamente vale mm, ya, ya nos ha acompañado bastante le voy a cambiar la apariencia vale 
sinceramente me gusta más esta apariencia que tiene Garus porque la otra era la armadura destruida pues hombre estaba muy bien es muy oye me han impactado mucho pero coño la dices eh, Jack no sé si llevarla o no bueno voy a llevar a Jack y a Garrus vale y a Zaef pues ya lo llevaremos en otra ocasión Este es un uno de DLC, ¿vale? El chisme ese. ¿Veis? Eh, aunque obviamente lleve bastante menos ropa, al menos se, se la ve los ojos. ¿Quieres? Ah, es verdad, que Garrus es alienígena. Mm. Pues no sé si cambiarlo Que sí, creo que lo voy a cambiar Para esta misión no voy a llevar a No voy a llevar a Garrus Voy a llevar a Zaev También porque es, son humanos ¿Sabéis? Y como a los humanos no les afecta Por lo visto, pues Pelotón, vamos a poner los atributos a este. Y ya llevaremos a Garrus en las siguientes misiones principales, tranquilos. Era simplemente eso, que se me había olvidado que... Primero íbamos a por Aria. A lo mejor con Aria hubiera tenido alguna conversación especial, Carlos, pero bueno, da igual. Da igual porque en el 3 lo vamos a volver a llevar mucho, ¿vale? O sea, vamos a dar... Y es para dar credibilidad a las normas que he puesto, de tal. We all got out, except my buddy Narco. Places like this are slaughterhouses, dressed as nightclubs. I shit you not. There's much better moves. You want to talk? Talk to Aria. What do you need? This data pad was on one of the mercs going after Archangel. They were coming for you next. Let me see. Interesting. Would someone like to tell me how this information slipped the net? Uh, I'll, I'll look into it. Thanks for the heads up, Shepard. Looks like I'll have to do a little cleaning in my organization. Thanks. Maybe I'll come back later. You do that. Step back. En verdad no pasa nada, eh, por llevar a Garrus, pero es, es más bien por eso, porque somos humanos y tal, pase lo que pase, pues, por si acaso, ¿sabéis? Creo que me he equivocado de puerta, pero bueno, si hacemos, haremos el camino largo y ya está. Si tampoco es que vayamos a hacer mucho en este episodio aún. Point. 
Did you forget already? I told you, this district is under quarantine until the plague has run its course. There's a Salarian named Morden Solis in the slums. I've got to get in there to find him. The doctor? Yeah, crazy bastard opened the clinic in the district a few months ago. The Blue Suns weren't too happy when he moved in. I hear Morden's trying to deal with the plague. I wish him luck, but the area is still locked down. Our orders are to wait until either the plague or the Blue Suns kill everyone. Then go in and clean up. Listen, you're stuck here till this quarantine's over. That could take weeks. What you really need is to get this problem solved right now. That's what I do. Solve problems. Let me in and I'll get this district straightened out. You think you can fix this? Why not? Quarantine is more to keep infected people in anyway. I'll radio ahead, tell them you're coming in. Wait, you're stopping me, but not them? You son of a bitch. You don't have a grenade launcher, lady. Get lost. Plague zone, but I'm immune? Sounds fun. Let's go. Aquí nos vuelven a dejar elegir equipo otra vez. Eh, hemos visto que Zael no tenía muchas líneas de diálogo, así que sí, vamos a coger a Garrus, ¿vale? Pero simplemente porque es de Omega, ¿vale? No es de Omega en sí, pero ha estado meses en Omega y tal. Y porque, C y porque Zael, aunque tenga líneas de diálogo, a lo mejor no son tan divertidas o no dicen tanto como las de Garrus, ¿vale? A Zael, tranquilos, que lo llevaré en la próxima misión principal o de... O de... Coño. De pelotón, ¿vale? Switch up. Bueno, lo vamos a dejar por aquí, ¿vale? Porque esta misión creo que es un poquito más larga que las de pelotón, ¿vale? Y nada más que añadir hasta el siguiente vídeo. Si os ha gustado podéis suscribiros y podéis darle like también. Vale, hasta el siguiente vídeo.